All right, I have the CD drive open again. This is, um, it was working and up until uh, yesterday, it just, uh, it's refused to operate at all. So um, I've got it out here and I managed to find a, a similar drive on eBay for about 15 bucks. So um, this is a Panasonic uh, CW8124B. This is a CD writer uh, slot loading, same form factor. Um, it will do uh, write, write like a CDR and rewritable CDs. It also does DVDs. So this may not end up being compatible, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyways. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is take off this board here, which is converting uh, to the to the cable um, from the SATA format. So I'm just going to uh, oops, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. There are looks like four screws. I'm just hoping that um, whatever instructions this deck is sending to this drive is just a standard kind of language. Um, if you if you require the TIAC drive, um, looks like those are out. These are almost impossible to get. So, I've got that off. Now there's a couple screws holding this drive in here. This is where we may run into some problems, because I don't think that Panasonic drive has these mounting holes on it. But we shall see. It's one and there's another one over here. Okay, Let's slide this out. So there are mounting holes on this side. There are mounting holes on the back here and then the input and there are mounting holes on this side. So if we grab the new drive, it looks like we do have a couple mounting holes. So these, our standard mounting holes, that's good. And we do have mounting holes for that circuit board on the back. So first thing we'll do is fit this. Perfect. Those are all lining up. All right. Plug this cable back in.
Okay. Put this to the side. We're ready to do a power test. Okay, let's just adjust the camera angle here. All right, let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay. See if we can get a disc in there. All right. It's found the table of contents. I'm going to plug in some headphones now. See if this works. And we have music. Awesome. Stop, eject. All right, I now have an ejecting functioning CD player. The next test will be to see if the burning function works. Grab a writable CD. And this may be where we're running into a problem. It's, it's reading the CD, but it's not actually, it's, what it should be doing is uh, recognizing a blank CD and then actually showing us on the display that it's a writable CD and it is not doing that. Eject button isn't working. Okay, let's do a restart. Just to test this out, let's go back and throw a different blank in there. Just in the off chance that We've got a faulty CD. Okay. Okay. We must have had a bad CD. So now it says CDR has been inserted. So I have a cassette in here, some ambient music. We're gonna test out recording this.
Uh, so we're gonna do a dub from tape to CD. There's the music. And let's stop. And we'll do a playback of that track. And we have playback. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, cut to uh, I'm gonna cut to the next uh, section when this thing is all assembled. But um, uh, that does awesome. So we were able to repair this thing back to um, having a functional CD player with a $15 replacement. Uh, these T are when they do come available. Uh, they're selling for well over a hundred dollars um, if people are looking for original gear but uh, we've as we have found out you can use a uh, in this case a Panasonic CW 8124B um, slot loading drive and it will work in this Tascam C222SL Okay, and now I've got the deck back in the studio where it's going to stay. Uh, everything's been fixed on this uh, CD player. It now has a functioning eject mechanism. Uh, and everything seems to be working great on this. So uh, that concludes the two-part series on this uh, repair of uh, the Tascam CC222SL Mark II and I will be leaving it here so uh, just before I go um, let's just make sure this works okay I recorded a, a raga off of uh, Facebook the other day, so that's what this is. Skip forward. Namaskar, good evening, everyone. All right. Perfect. Everything's working. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again with another video soon.